been said many times, many ways. Mary. So what's up, guys? I'm back. I'm using my cameras right here, but I want to make this video fast and quick because then later on today I am going to be filming, try to film an Amigo video. I've been going natural for about four months now and I was like, it's the holidays because once around Christmas time, my mom likes to get all of us all dressed up together and I don't want to look bad when we take our Christmas pictures. Now, mind you, any other time when I we take Christmas pictures, I don't look, well, last year, I didn't look bad. It's just I wasn't looking cute, but I wasn't looking bad at the same time. But a couple of years before that, oh baby, I should have known like, it's the holidays, my mom is gonna post them on Facebook, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna try to be back try don't know if it's gonna be a success but i'm gonna try and yes i got this hair i already kind of opened it up because i wanted to see the box was kind of a little bit damaged anyways but it's called curly curly me hair curly me hair and i found it off of this youtuber i ordered the same hair that she ordered if i can find her video again because I watch a lot of YouTube and I'm not subscribed. And uh, so I will put her in there and where I got it from and stuff like that. And like when you first opened it up, but yeah, like it looks, packaging kind of looks bad because I opened it, but the box is already damaged as itself. But it has curly me hair and not a lot of people um, that I saw did their hair. When I typed in curly me hair, it was like girls with curly hair that ordered curly hair, no. And you know, they have like a Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, so um, they put it in upside down. But these are the 3D lashes, and then they give you a wig cap. Now the one thing I can say about Tinashe is that they give you like a goodie bag. These guys, I mean, I don't know, it's my first time trying them, so we'll see how it goes. It looks so short, but it's not. Okay, I got wavy and it, it looks kind of funny, but it's not anyways. Bleach the knots after, like look at it. I don't care, I'm doing it anyways. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like on my head. I decided to, you know, try it on. Now I'm pulling it down like, now look at this hairline. It's not going too far back or going too far forward. It's going just right. Like the part stops all the way, all the way back here. Like, I don't care. It's gonna get messed up anyways. Like this is what it looks like. This is 16 inches. So gonna like bleach the knots but this is what the wig looks like i love the smell of fresh new hair i don't know what i'm i want to do with this yet until i figure out like how i want to wear it first I'm giving you raw emotions right now this is what my hair looks like up under the wig like i had got my braids done edges are still kind of lowered we not even gonna get started on that and i'm not even gonna glue it down either because like i just put some cream on my edges because they're kind of like a little dry but basically what i like to do is taking my little it's an old old do rag this is what i do to protect my edges because they're still trying to grow if not like i said i'm gonna get a tattoo them like make it look cute and not make it look like I'm this yeah okay but what I do is that it's so thin right take it I turn it inside out because this little piece right here like I don't 
like I wore it like that and it pressed down on my head and it was tight and everything like that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna put it down to where my widow's peak stops. I'm gonna pull the sides, pull it over my ears, right? Too tight to where it gives me a headache, but tight enough so it doesn't slip off my head. What I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna apply it on my head right where the black cap stops. Oh, those ones are kind of thin, okay. So all I did was basically tuck the black cap into the back of my wig, and then I slid it back so it wasn't too tight on my forehead. You don't want to create a decreased line in your head. So basically what you see that I'm doing next is just making sure it's nice and to the right side. skin color and it really matched it to my skin color, but it also did blend in at the right time. I had to do it off camera because I, I didn't know what I was trying to achieve, but I did get it to the wig because I just noticed that this part was so next, as you see, I'm just trying to adjust the lace front so at a certain angle so it's not looking so patchy, so it can fit right up under my ear. And then I take my Got To Be Glued spray, I spray it, and then I take my flat brush and I press it up against. And number two, it's not on my edges. I make sure of that. I first I spray it with water, and then I use a Got To Be Glued spray so it can spray and see where I can spray it at. So next, I just took my mousse that I had got from Walmart and I'm first laying it down before I use the glue because you kind of want to get a feel of where you want the baby hair to lay. You never want to put the glue down before because then if you mess up, it's kind of like there ain't no going back and it's just going to get tacky. So because I was doing a side part, I found where I wanted to put the baby hair. So what I did was to kind of blend in with the lace, I just swooped the baby hair not too far in front of my head, but just like right the side of it. And then as you can see, I take the other side and kind of mimic them both up under my eyebrows. Um, I laid them down pretty well. I didn't cut them really short this time, as you see. I mean, the baby hairs came out cute. I like the way that they were placed. They make the lace front look more natural. And then the only tricky part that I struggle with is, like, doing, like, the sides by, like, your earlobes. Those are the toughest. And so on to the next. As you can see, this is kind of the final product. I would have put the regular audio in, but my sister was talking about something that, yeah. And anyways... This is how the finished look product is. I'm not done. I'll show you what the styling look of it looked like towards the end. This was the side part. It came out very natural. I like the curly me hair. They make their lace fronts look very natural and not make them look like they're fake. So that's the good part about it. And it also blended in with my skin as well. So I really much enjoyed that. But this is just what the final of it looked like once when the lace was laid down. look you guys I have completed it I would have been done earlier but my sister came over and then I did her hair so this is just the completed look of what the hair looks like um, 
it turned out pretty good. I didn't think it was gonna turn out this great, but it turned out amazing. Like I'm looking at myself and I'm just like, it's such a baddie. But it is late clock at night. And if you do like this video and if you do see it and you do wanna see more from me, let me know down in the description or even give this video a thumbs up. I don't care what you do. And I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.